<laughs> and uh, Matthew is is by pro no no was by profession an accountant. <laughs> yeah, so he was a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. so nevertheless, uh, you know, uh, just working with the issues of families and uh, just his whole desire for East Malaysia. Uh, he would not have all, you know, if he were to express his heart, it would really take a lot of time. But it would be worth it to hear. But uh, maybe during, when we finish, when Peter finishes, do get a chance to talk to him and hear his heart for East Malaysia and families. Please welcome, dear brother. I think uh, what's really we're talking about here this afternoon is a dream. Um, I hope you have a glimpse of that dream of really um, raising up a generation uh, for a decade of them investing into their lives. Hopefully, at the end of that decade, uh, they could not just be ordinary, but you know, someone can step forward. So we are here to share about dream, but I want to just pick out one thing. I know that when we look at the family, children will look at both of them at the side. <clears throat> Very often we sort of give a sort of a focus of uh, just a, a thought, but not a very deep thought, to the two fellows between the children, the parents. You have not heard this is really the uh, summarized mission statement of 414, raising our generation from 414 window to transform the world. It's not just ordinary kids, but who has a capacity to transform the world. I'm going to use a big term. We are talking about people, children living God's kingdom and impact the whole world, a transformational kind of kids. But we know that learning is just not in Sunday school. Sunday school just providing perhaps the hate and uh, to understand the assignment and desire to learn the truth. But we know the truth had to be lived out, and living out the process is not linear, but we know there's a lot of things going on, but basically internalize the truth, and once the truth has been lived out, there's part of life, there's transformed life, and the life as such will transform others as well. And we know that people, the children do not go, uh, just stay away from the boundary, they, they challenge the boundary back and forward, and uh, we also know that the, the path of life is not straight line, it's always exactly sort of out of the boundary, but the big question is this, when the children are out of the boundary, meaning the truth they are not following, and all these pointers, number one, who point out they have drifted? Uh, who are the ones pushing them back? Uh, is it Sunday school or uh, where? Where do we do that uh, in, in that? I don't know whether you have read this book uh, by Cherry Fuller, Opening Your Child's Learning Windows. She identifies uh, nine learning windows. And it just you know, a very quick glance of that. We are very focused on spiritual value, and 414 is this. If you look at this, basically the concept is this. This, uh, this shaded part is talking about the window opening, meaning that something has been done with the window, for example, in the spiritual side, if the child is ready to receive spiritual value. Uh, it becomes uh, the blue, meaning that it's sort of maximum, meaning that open the, the, the widest. Uh, if this one is given to them, they will be able to receive the most. Uh, again, it's, uh, consists of what we mentioned about the windows being opened up in the age 13, 14, and so on. Uh, this is important because, again, the big question is this, who are the ones there to capitalize all these windows being opened? Uh, we know that school, my good language, and so on, all our spiritual and values and value area. Who are the ones who are there to give the maximum input, not just learning uh, in the head and the heart, but living out, internalized, and how this become part of their lives. We also know scripture that uh, uh, is not just the church, but the parents are primarily, uh, primarily responsible for the uh, building up of their own character. We know that they are the destiny shepherds as well. Someone said this, parents are the primary shepherds of faith and life uh, in their children, and the role of the church is to partner with the home in that process. I want to pause and basically say this, I think, I think all of us here basically are from a church uh, perspective. We want to reach out to children. We want them to become 4, 4, 14 generation. This is our perspective. But we, we just focus on the church side, which we have been traditional doing that in the children's ministry. I think we need to step back and ask our simple question. The, the part of internalizing the process of uh, internalizing the truth, 
leaving out the truth, straying away from the truth, pushing back to leave the, uh, the way of the truth again uh, until the primary persons and upon the people will be the parents. And if the parents are not involved, can we really, really realize a dream or a form for each other? Okay, uh, that was short, quick, and fast. <laughs> uh, don't know how much uh, we got there, but uh, 